Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, November 29th, 2016. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, we will highlight some of the many Christmas-related events that are coming up in our area. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Friday, December the 2nd, the third annual Reindeer Fun Run will be held on Jackson Street in Tullahoma. This unique fun run and walk benefits the Tullahoma Animal Shelter. Cost for the Reindeer Fun is just a recommended minimum donation of $10, but anyone is welcome to join in the fun. Participants and walkers run down Jackson Street as the parade watchers gather. Runners are also encouraged to dress in their favorite Christmas flair. Pre-register at D.W. Wilson or on the day of the race at Fraser McEwen Park. Grab your antlers and join in the fun at the third annual Reindeer Fun Run. Welcome back. Montlow College's annual Christmas concert is coming up this week. Peggy Burton spoke with David Bethea about the event. I'm so excited about how things are going as far as musically at Motlow. We are taking off dramatically. I mean, um, it's just a, it's, it's amazing, yes. Um, and I, I heard in your couple last segments talking about the music in the area, and I'm so fortunate because the music happens at such, at lower levels in the high schools and in the areas, and then I get to draw not only from Tullahoma, but from surrounding areas to make some just fabulous music out of Motlow. I know you told me you have a, you have 25 or 30 in the chorus. Yes, 25 in the chorus. And yes. then you have a band a program. A band, yes, which is growing. And you have two events coming up. So let's yes. make sure we mention That's right. those. Yes, our first event is uh, going to be on December 1st at 7 o'clock with a reception at 6, where um, actually Santa will be there. So if you oh, want to come and get your bring picture, yeah, absolutely bring kids. And with that in mind, well, December 1st at 7, and then on December 4th at 3 o'clock, the same show. Same show. But two times, yes. You're doing, is, is the, that Sunday? Yes, Sunday, yes. Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. Which I think that's always a good idea. Absolutely, yes. Some older people sometimes don't mm -hmm. like to come out at night. Yes. And the wonderful thing about performance at Montlow, it's free. Absolutely, it's free, but we do have one small requirement because we have had so much interest in you the recent call, call and re with reservation. What is the number? The number is 393 That's right. If we could get that up, that would be great. If yes. not, look up, look it up. Yeah, that's right, yes. Look it up and uh -huh. call Motlow because yes. You have to make reservations. Absolutely. The auditorium is not, what, 300 maybe? 250 is what 250? we see. Yes. And uh, I don't know if you know, but our auditorium has recently been renovated. A $650,000 oh, renovation. Well, I knew there was a sound yes. thing. That it yes. The sound is, is now incredible in there acoustically. It is, it is great. And uh, brand new seats and carpeting. How many so, years have you been here now? This is my fifth year. Starting fifth my fifth year. year yes. Well, it, it's grown a lot. Yes. And I've uh, been proud of that. Oh, and oh thank students you. students come and go and That's right. tell yes. me how they love it. Yes. Yes. And it, it's become so much fun. It, our Christmas concert. As we're, I said, mentioned Santa, but we'll also have um, the princesses, Anna and Elsa, and we'll have oh. Olaf and the Grinch and Kristoff. And That's wonderful. Yes, and they all make appearances throughout the show. And then during intermission, all of them are spread out in a room with all sorts of Christmas decorations, and you can have your pictures taken and so with them. And you get a chance to and meet, meet them. people. Yes. And talk. Is that yes. Samantha Terrell and some of her people, or is that local it's Motlow lo people? Uh, it's Motlow, Motlow. Some Motlow um, people, some others from uh, we're mixing and matching. Yes. That's a neat yes. idea. Yeah, it's, it, you it, have got it all together. We have made this a Christmas extravaganza, as we That's like great. to call it. Yes. And so. there, I think there's good parking there. Yes, so, good parking. And it's still in uh, Old Auditorium. Old Auditorium, yeah. I need to mention that. That's right. And I think you were trying to encourage a community band. Let's talk about that yes. just a little. Do we well, have time? Um, the band program, I know we have a great band. In, in our area with uh, the high school bands. And I know some people may leave or come back or, or play. Um, we have a community band which happens on Mondays from 5 to 7 o'clock. And, um, How and long has that been going on? I just started a couple years ago, and we've had a little bit of interest. I haven't spread the word as much. I just wanted to see how, yeah. it, would, how it would grow. But now I'm really encouraging others to join so, us. So you don't mind? Absolutely. Do you need to audition? Um, no. Maybe yeah, a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Contact me and... You and, prefer and, that they read a little music. Absolutely, yes, yes. There is a <laughs> That's right. That's and with a group. Yes. At Please least have tuned. at least have high school experience. Yeah. Yes. Well, we have some great high school. Oh, absolutely. The students that leave Tulsa right. High School, Manchester High School. Right. But we have award-winning right. bands here, and I think it's awesome yes. that you're doing that at Montlow. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yes. and it, it helps the students out there because we're smaller schools, so we can't really put it together a huge band. But if we have community involvement, then sure. we can get grow and. Do you have room for strings, or is that another? Not issue? yet. So that, that, we don't have a string program. Yes. Oh, not yet. We're 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 focusing first on the on the concert band and maybe a little bit of jazz, and then we're gonna. You know what? Hopefully you're just gonna have to come back, okay? Because we're gonna run out of time. <laughs> All right, I but will. But let's uh, December December first, first, and, and, and the fourth. Fourth, yeah. And it's the first set. Uh, what night is that? It's a Thursday night. Thursday night, seven o'clock. Starts at seven, and mm -hmm. there's receptions reception at and six. All and kinds of things. They're gonna love it. You're gonna love it because the music's right. always great. Absolutely, David. I don't know what to say, oh. but thank you. Thank and you. Keep up thank the good you for work. So and promise you'll come back. I promise. Yes. Winston Brooks also spoke with Peggy about the annual reindeer run coming up this Friday. I want to mention one exciting uh, event that will be happening right before the parade, and it's called the Reindeer Run. And if you've never participated in the Reindeer Run, it is uh, a fun run that starts at the high school in that area. We actually, we ask people to meet at the park around 5, starts at promptly 6.15 because we will take off and run down Jackson Street in front of all the parade spectators. Oh, wonderful. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And we encourage people to dress in Christmas costume or flare. And we'll run down to the floats. Ears, yep. antlers. <laughs> and turn around come back or yeah. and this year we're going to ask uh, the visitors who are watching the parade to vote on Facebook for their favorite costume oh that's a good so idea. that way they'll have something yeah. to do when people are running by that's a real so, good yeah, idea get everybody kind of engaged and all uh, revved up and revved up and ready for the parade that's wonderful more news leader on six is coming up after these messages family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back to Tullahoma Daycare Center's Tour of Homes fundraiser is scheduled for this Saturday. I spoke with volunteers from the center to learn more about the event. It, we, I, I really have an interesting segment coming up here. It's going to be interesting for me, as I, I'm sure it will be for you, because I have not met these young ladies, and uh, they just now told me what their topic was. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to start over here and uh, let you tell us your name. I'm Mary Kay Counts, and I'm here from Tullahoma. Okay. I'm Terry Milam, and I'm on the board of the Tullahoma Daycare Center. Okay. I'm Emma Coleman, and I'm the director of Tullahoma Daycare. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk a little bit about the event that you got coming up. Right. The The event is December the 4th, the uh -huh. first Sunday in December, and it's our annual tour of homes. And Miss Mary Kay is graciously offering her home to be one of our, our homes that can be visited. And um, she can tell us a little bit about her, her house okay. that we'll be lucky to get to come see. Well, we built in 2000. Uh, we lived in Manchester and we come to Tullahoma in 2000. And um, I started collecting Hallmark light and motions from a lady that I used to work with at People's mm -hmm. Bank, Miss Jessie Jo Elam. And so it just kind of started from there and then my husband's mom she puts up a tree in every room so I kind of got addicted so we've got like a little bit over 20 trees in your home in our home <laughs> so each one has their own little theme you know like a precious mama so um, we've got a peppermint tree a golf tree there's a frog tree and uh, so we have several little trees uh, first of all I'm, I'm gonna guess you must really enjoy doing that right 
I do my husband down on the work. <laughs> so, 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 do you actually take them down in the off season, or you just put them in a room somewhere and, and, well, and then bring them back? Smaller, skinnier trees like I wire tie all the ornaments on, and my husband takes them up and sets them in the attic because we have a big room that's open. I see. But our big main tree, the golden burgundy, it's from the floor up. You got to take it up and down. You have so, any idea how long it takes you to put all those trees together? Yeah, it's about mm. if we was able to stay on it every day, probably about two weeks. Unreal. Okay. Oh, so wow. it's a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, we're exhausted by the time we're done but then we enjoy it and we get to share that with other people and get, let them see it so it's fun so, you, so you already have those trees up now is that correct yeah almost got almost i only got a couple more and i'll be done okay okay yeah so All getting right. ready and, and, and mary Kay's home is one of the of the homes on the tour yes we have several homes on our tour this year um we also have uh saint barnabas episcopal church is offering um the church for us to come and see the decorations. We have uh, Tony and Melva Kinkle's home is uh, going to be one of our homes. Dave and Deborah. That's Deb the uh, president of Mont Lawn? That, is that the Tony Kinkle? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. And uh, Dave and Deborah, I hope I pronounced it correctly, Dusterhaus. I think you did. Okay. And of course, uh, Tim and Susan Campbell. Bob and Lisa Hayes, and then of course Tim and Mary Kay. Oh, okay. And and uh, I, I know this is a this is a fundraiser for your daycare. Is yes, that it correct? is. Okay. Right. We have um, our tickets are on sale, and they're on sale at several locations here in Tullahoma. And then the board members and members of the daycare center have tickets. Mm -hmm. They're twenty dollars each, and again, the money goes to help with uh, things for our Tullahoma daycare center. And Emma can tell us more about that. Mm -hmm. uh, things that we do with uh, the the funding, um, but the tickets are available at the Tullahoma Daycare, the Flower Shop, at Southern Community Bank, at uh, JP Designs, Creators, T. Michelle's, the Downtown Avenues, Coker's, and Clayton's. And um, we also have a silent auction, which we're okay. excited about. We have several wonderful items mm -hmm. that have been donated, and those are avail um, available to view at uh, Trinity Lutheran Church mm -hmm. in their um, activity center. And um, once the tour starts, you can go into the activity center and place a bid on the items. And I, I just want to give a shout out and a much thanks to uh, 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 Barrett Hodges, who's a local photographer. Hedges, he, I think. Hedges, I'm yeah, sorry. Okay. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> who's a local photographer, and he's had uh, uh, photos in National Geographic. He's uh -huh. graciously donated one of his uh, pieces of photography to you, be auctioned off. You know, that's off. pretty major, because he, yes, he's is. actually a pretty well-known Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And we have uh, half of the Jack Daniels barrel that can be decorated and adapted in your home. And then we have um, a beautiful wreath from um, the flower shop has been donated. Okay. Just some of the many items that we have. I don't, I don't believe we said when is the tour of home. It's December the 4th. December the 4th. We'll be right back after these messages. Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac is your one-stop truck shop for any kind of truck you're looking for. The all-new 2015 Chevrolet Colorado is here. Plus, we've got cabin chassis and dualies. And a full-size pickup truck selection that goes on for miles. And a huge selection of certified pre-owned and used trucks galore. Check out all our inventory online at stanmcnab.com or ilikebigtrucks.com. Remember, Stan McNabb is a dealer that always has more trucks for less bucks. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. Tullahoma Police Chief Paul Blackwell stopped by our studios recently to share some tips on safe holiday shopping. Um, shopping. There, there's probably three things that I'd want to emphasize. The first being credit cards, debit cards. We take a, a lot of reports and someone will say, well, what's a lot? Well, more than one or two is 
I'm going to call a lot, where <coughs> where people have had their cards used, stolen, um, their numbers used somewhere else, and uh, and then that becomes obviously a, a loss to the person. Mm -hmm. um, so when, what we talk about when you're going shopping, when you're in the checkout line and you're going to use your debit or credit card, kind of use your body to conceal your card because, you know, with the phone I've got, I can take a picture of a credit card and I can get the numbers off it just by standing back a few feet. So try to interfere and block that. Conceal your card. Uh, if you have somebody with you, have them standing so as to block your card. Make sure if you give it to someone, you get it back. You know, they always say try to keep your eye on your card, and we know that's sometimes hard because let's say a restaurant, yeah, especially you give their restaurant. card, they take it, they come back. That's where it's important you have your receipt so you'll know this is how much I agreed to pay. Mm -hmm. If you do end up having a, a, a charge that you need to dispute, um, we get reports of people having their credit card information used online somewhere. It may be California, it may be Washington, it, it could be anywhere. And, and they say, I've got my card in my hand. You know, somewhere, somebody got their information. You know, that's I know my daughter got her, her uh, debit card uh, stolen, or the number, mm -hmm. and she's got the card. Got the card and, and wonder. And, and yeah. it, but it's being used. Used in, somewhere else. I think it was in New York somewhere, yeah. you know. And, and a lot of people will, they'll get with their banks, and most of the banks are very good about making that up to you. You know, they write it off as a loss to them, but uh, oftentimes they need a police report to go with that. Sure. So if, let's say your daughter, if her card got used in New York City, and she comes to Tullahoma Police and says, my card got used in New York, you know, we kind of sit there and say, well, it didn't happen here. Yeah. You know, we can't, we can't investigate it. We can't write your report. You got to call New York City. What do you think New York City's going to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're going to say, you live in Tullahoma. You go tell the Tullahoma. So, yeah. But we, you know, and another thing about that, you, you were correct that, that the banks will most likely re replace your money. However, you may be without your money for two or three days. It, it, yes, before, however before long it takes them. To get so we will normally write someone a report, but we kind of call it our um, citizen demand report, meaning, hey, I need a report. Uh -huh. I understand you're not going to be able to investigate this. You're not going to be able, but I need it for whatever purpose. Right. Um, so, you know, we just want people to understand that. Um, and then the next is your packages. This time of year, <coughs> we want to caution people if when you get your packages from the stores and if you're going to another store, hide your packages, put them in the trunk, uh, cover them up, do something so that someone that's, someone that's got bad intentions doesn't walk by and just look in your car and see a package or several packages and break the window or open the car and take your packages out. Because that's just inviting them. To it's inviting when, yeah. you know, I mean, because we know uh, while you, the good citizen, are out paying your money to go shop and get things, we have the citizen, the bad citizen, that's walking around to see what can I get that belongs to someone else right. and get for nothing. So don't, don't help them do that. Uh, and then lastly is if you're using cash, and a lot of people still pay for cash. Uh, if you're going into a store and you're at the ca cash register, don't pull out a wad of money and then peel off whatever you got to pay for and then put the rest back. Because again, there are the, going to be those people that are up to no good mm -hmm. that are going to watch you flash a wad of money and you know you may be setting yourself up to be a victim. So if you're going into a store, you think you're going to spend $100, just have about $100 in your pocket, in your purse, in your wallet. So when you pull it out, anyone may, that may be watching you doesn't see that you've got a whole wad of money sitting here next to it. Uh, and, and again, let me add a fourth thing. <laughs> I said I'm going to cover but one or two, but be aware of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Look around. Uh, before you open your car, is there anyone that's around that looks suspicious? You know, who's parked right next to you? Is there someone sitting in the car? be leery of that um, you know it's okay to be cautious it's okay to be suspicious uh, because your safety is at hand so you know just just 
think about where you're at. If you're concerned, try to find a security guard or a police officer or management or, or somebody to escort you to your car. And what we've always reminded people are all of our police officers wear a uniform, just like what I'm wearing now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if someone approaches you saying they're a police officer, if they're not in uniform, they should have identification, a badge, you know, everything. And, um, and if you have a doubt, call 911 because right. we can always get on the radio and we can find out if someone is, is truly legitimate or not. We'll be right back with more news later in just a moment. Have you heard the news? The Russell Barnett Automotive family has launched its new and improved website. That's russellbarnett.com. With over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from, then look no further than russellbarnett.com. Online service appointments, customer testimonials, and vehicle history reports, this website has it all. We are the largest Middle Tennessee family-owned dealership with five locations to choose from. RussellBarnett.com and why buy anywhere else? All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and wh what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. As cooler weather moves into our area to stay for a while, let's watch some tips on fireplace safety. Hi, I'm Rob Neal, Deputy Superintendent of the United States Fire Administration in Emmitsburg, Maryland. We're talking about how to build a fire and fireplace safety. We're going to talk about how to maintain a fire once you get it going. We've had this nice fire burning for a little while, and as you can see, it's starting to die down a little bit. So how do we get it back up to where we want a nice roaring fire that will keep us nice and warm? We always have a set of tools nearby that will be very handy for us to use. This particular tool set, you can buy it at any hardware store, you could buy it at a home and hearth store, but make sure you get a good solid set. Now this particular set comes with four tools. The first is a little broom, and the purpose of the broom is simply to sweep excess ash or embers that might have died out back into the fire pit. The second tool is a poker. It's got a little hook on it for moving the logs around. In fact, I'm going to use it right now to help us with this fire. You'll see the fire started to die down a little bit. We've got lots of char on the wood and, and some charcoal building up in there. If I take the poker and give it a good smack, you'll see that it opens up the logs and exposes more of the embers to the oxygen that's in the air. And that's what helps get the fire going nice and, nice and bright. Now the third tool that comes in very handy is a set of tongs. I certainly don't want to reach into the firebox and get myself burned, so I can use this pair of tongs to grab this log right here and set it up there right where I want it. At this point we can add more dry seasoned wood to build that fire up. One of the things we want to be careful of though is not to build the fire too big. Part of the good, efficient burning is to make sure that there's lots of air circulation around in the firebox. So if we overstuff that firebox, we can decrease the effectiveness of the fire to the point where it will actually burn itself out. Now that we've had the fire burning a while and we want to put it out, we don't want to leave this fire like this because that's a dangerous situation. So how do we control it? Well, with the simple tools that we have, we can take this poker we can open up the fire like this, and that will help get rid of some of that immediate burning. And you'll see that it starts to die out very quickly with that. But another trick that I might want to use is get a little spray bottle, a little water spritzer, and spray a few little sprays of water in there right on the flames, right on the wood, and that will cause the fire to dampen down and eventually go out. Once the fire is out, then we'll be able to take out those excess ashes and we'll be able to dump them outside in a very safe environment. 
Now, don't ever take those ashes out and put them in a paper bag. Don't ever put them in a cardboard box. What you need to do is get yourself a metal can, a little shovel, a little metal shovel like is included on this particular tool set, and you can scoop up those ashes and put them into that metal container and take them outside away from the house. So don't ever leave this fire unattended. Make sure that it's out, all the way out, when you get ready to leave. So in our next segment, we're going to talk about some of the things that you can do to maintain your fireplace in a safe operating condition. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., uh, Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Vicki and Fran from the Tullahoma Senior Citizen Center, who will tell us about their upcoming holiday events. Kelly Bow with the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center will drop by to invite everyone out to their new exhibit, and we'll have a preview of uh, Tullahoma's Christmas Choir that happens this Saturday. All that and more on this week's Living. Stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. Trucks, trucks, and more trucks. Keith Barnett here with the Russell Barnett Automotive family and we have your next truck. From the Ford F-Series, the Ram, Chevrolet, or the GMC, then look no further than the Russell Barnett family. With over 350 new and pre-owned trucks to choose from, now is the time to buy. Stop by one of our five locations, that's Russell Barnett Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Chevrolet GMC, Ford of Winchester, and Russell Barnett Ford in Kia of Tullahoma, or visit us on the web at russellbarnett.com. Why buy anywhere else? You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Is this the year you want to get fit? If so, check out just some of the things Tullahoma Parks and Rec has to offer. Kickboxing, aerobics, silver sneakers workouts, swim lessons, boot camp, water aerobics, basketball, Zumba, yoga, pickleball, lap swimming, treadmill, karate. Get fit Tullahoma and have some fun with Tullahoma Parks and Rec. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1941 at 73 degrees. The record low was in 1955 at 12 degrees. Average high on this day is 54 and the average low is 32. Storms in your forecast again for tonight with a low of around 59. Rain forecast for Wednesday with a high of 62 and a low of 35 and mostly sunny weather returning in the forecast for Thursday with a high of 52 and a low of 31. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6, 8 and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.